exact screen test. As you can see, basically what it uses, it uses a simple technique where you open it like this and you dip it into the urine sample. By the capillary action, the urine will start uh, uh, moving up and as this urine is moving up with the capillary flow, it moves and it immobilizes the immobile antigen protein. Then if the drug is present, what's going to happen is uh, it's going to displace this protein antigen from the antibody and binds to all the sites that are valid on the, on the antibody. And as you can see, this test device has got T and C for test and control. If, uh, if the urine is negative, if we find that there are no uh, any drugs of abuse here, you will see two lines. If there is positive result, you will see a red line, whether it's faint, whether it's not faint, we still consider it positive as long as it's on the control side. Yeah, that's it. So, we are doing a quantitative test for presence. We are trying to screen if the urine contains a drug of abuse. And this drug of abuse includes uh, cocaine, tetrahydrocarbinol, which is obviously a compound that is found in marijuana. We have also test for presence of uh, MMF. Uh, methoxymethylene dioxymethamphetamine, which is sometimes called moly, moly, ectex drug, yeah. also testing for the presence of uh, what else are we testing? Methamphetamine, also testing mm -hmm. for the presence of um, uh, opiates, yeah, opiates, opiate opioids. So, basically, that's what we're doing. Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For ten seconds, you dip it in the urine sample for ten seconds. And you recap it. Recap it and then put it on your nanny. Um, it's so bad. Surface. As okay. you can see, we'll bring the camera closer so they can see the capillary action. Oh. The urine is moving uh, through a capillary action. You see that? Yes, 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 yes. You see? This is a capillary action. Okay. Yeah. It's after. As you can see here, the, the, this urine tested negative for amphetamines. It also tested negative for meth. It also tested uh, positive for tetrahydrocarbinone, which is a metabolite of what? Of, a mandra, uh, of, canna, of cannabis, I think. Yeah. Then for opioid, it also tested negative. Yep. Now starting now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a urine analysis using a dipstick. Uh, these are test strips, so basically what uh, the urinalysis dipsticks get to find out specific gravity, pH, copper size, nitrogen, nitrates, proteins, glucose, ketones, urinogen, alinogen, erythrocyte, and hemoglobin. So that's what I'm going to do now uh, and see if this lab test contains perhaps one of the analysts that I found. Yep. So, yep. first thing, I'm going to get myself to test it. To avoid more support contact with this city. Okay. Now, bring it back. This is a spaceship. You dip it inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You put it here and wait for a few minutes. Thank you. Not taking, <laughs> no man, don't, no. Do <laughs> don't do that. Okay, repeat. repeat. Now you can do it. Shut. Okay, so as you can see, the specific gravity of this um, is approximately one. Then, in terms of uh, pH, is seven. In terms of leukocytes, it's negative. In terms of nitrates, it's negative. Proteins, negative. Glucose, negative. Ketones, normal. 
European machine normal, Belarusian uh, normal, Eritrean normal. As you can see that, you can see.